Hi, I'm Kathy Kelly for Red Carpet Report. And you might think we're in Kansas City, but we are not. We are on set of Switched at Birth in Santa Clarita, California. We're going to be talking to some of the stars about season three. We are here with Vanessa on set of Switched at Birth. And this season, you guys have so much drama. It looks like Vanessa, your character, and Tank are no more. But Vanessa. I know, I know. It's yeah. Bye bye, Bank. Bye bye, Bank. Bye, bye, um, bank. Are you. Who are you? Like, are you Team Tank or? Uh, here's the thing. I'm. I'm team Bay single because yeah. that means we get a lot of new boys to come on the show and I get a lot of new boyfriends, which is like live vicariously through that situation. Yeah. So I'm biased in that sense. I'm like, I like her going from one guy to the next. That's not a healthy thing to do by any standards, but you can do it on TV and yeah. it's fine. Um, but no, we, I really liked uh, Bay and Tank together just because he was so different than any other guy that she had ever dated before. Um, but uh, he's not going anywhere. Tank is, okay. is still very, very much a part of this season. Uh, and uh, Bay and Emmett are, are together now, so they're trying to make that work and figure out that whole situation. So it's going to be a little bit of a, a crazy season in that sense. Just a lot of the awkward, like, we're back together, but that's my boyfriend that I cheated on. But remember when you cheated on me, but we're a happy new kind of yeah. family. It seems like a lot of fans are really excited for Bay and Emmett, though. Really? I hadn't noticed at all. <laughs> They're usually pretty quiet about that sort of thing. <laughs> you guys get so much interaction on social media. It's crazy. Like, you guys have this huge following. Um, what has been your favorite thing that you've heard from a fan from this season? From this season? Um, let's see. I, well, the thing is, um, I, I was, like, a big... I'm not a big social media person. And so like for forever, there was like a war happening between like calling the couple Bemet or calling the couple eBay. And I was all on like the eBay train and through not being on social media, I haven't won that battle at all. Like totally <laughs> Bemet's their name. Yeah. Like that's what's been happening so far. And so I like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I would say, um, but it's so funny cause like by not being on it, like, I'm still so informed. Like a lot of people on set just like keep me informed with what's happening to the point where like I got a text message one day from somebody. This is probably the craziest thing that I have seen uh, of just me and Sean like photoshopped into a photo laying on each other and me with a pregnant belly and like what? very clearly like put our heads on other people's <laughs> bodies. But it looked so creepy on so many oh levels. <laughs> and I was like, oh, Oh, all right. Hmm. That's an that's an interesting choice there, but it's it's fun. It's, I like that that so so many people are into the show that yeah. like and it inspires like people being that involved with a couple. Like I remember, yeah. you know, watching television and being like really involved and like hoping that a couple would be together. Mine was Rory and Jess on Gilmore Girls, and uh -huh. they didn't end up together, guys. And it was rough. Yeah. It was rough for for thirteen year old Vanessa to accept that that wasn't going to happen. How'd you deal with that? Not well. <laughs> not over it. <laughs> That's so, funny. Mm -hmm. um, so this season tackles a lot of issues. One of those is cyberbullying. Um, what advice do you have for kids that might be going through that in their real life? Well, I would say stay off the internet because obviously not involved with social media. But I think, I think the bottom line is, is creating a strong sense of self is yeah. not an easy thing to do like people don't walk into a world being naturally confident um it, a lot of it comes from surrounding yourself with with people who who build you up like like parents who build you up and, and friends that build you up and it's about quality and not quantity for me i think and you know the thing is, we're at a, in a day and age where it's so sad, anybody can say anything behind a computer screen and not see the reaction mm -hmm. of somebody, you know? Like, you're not making eye contact and seeing how that's affecting somebody. And so the internet in this weird way gives a voice to the voiceless, but it's a, a voice that some people haven't earned and some people take advantage of and use it as a platform to be cruel because it makes them to feel better and stronger to have that power to say something negative behind a screen and not actually say it face to face because they can't do it. And so I think if you keep that in mind of like, you don't know what, who that person is really and like what they're doing at that moment in time when they're being cruel to you, they could be sobbing uncontrollably and shoving their face full of ice cream while they're, you know, <laughs> calling you a fat cow. Like at the same time, I think it's, it's a weird thing with cyberbullying today where it is like, you, you don't know what's happening on the other side at all. And I think you just kind of have to keep that in mind for yourself and not give them the power to affect you in that way. They might be doing it because they're insecure too. Usually they are. Yeah. <laughs>
Um, so I've heard the second half of season three, there are two huge shockers that we're going to see. I know you can't talk about it, but can you tease like something? I'm, I, you have no idea. I've been trying so hard to think of how I'm going to tease the two. Well, one big shocker is in our finale. Yeah. Like it is the last scene of the finale, which we're going to be shooting in a few weeks. And there's actually two, there's two endings. There's a, an alternate ending and, and the main ending that's written. And like, I'm not sure which one we're going to go with. So that's okay. interesting. Um, so finale shocker, prepare for that. But there is a shocker that, you know, happens before that, uh, that affects this season so much. Like, if you, you, you come into the beginning of Switched at Birth and you're like, Bay and Emmett are together and Daphne's working at the clinic and wants to be a doctor and yeah. everything's great and happy and Regina has a job and Catherine has a book and everyone's just having a really great time with each other and then BAM! Something happens mm -hmm. and it affects the whole season. Like, everybody kind of falls apart a little bit. What? Yes, so that's, I mean, that's as much as I can say. Yeah. It's aliens. There are aliens that come to I knew it. I know. It's true. Mm -hmm. Aliens. <laughs> so you heard it here first. <laughs> um, Constance, we were talking to her earlier, and she was kind of talking about how um, it was a very, you know, sad scene. Like, all the filming was, like, hard to do, but you guys were still very happy, like, in between takes, like, trying to balance everything out. Yes. Um, I <laughs> I'm not the type of actor who, like, can go into a weird, like, emotional, devastating, like, I'm going to kill myself sort of place when you're doing emotional scenes. I, I'm not. I, it, it doesn't feel real to me. I, I very much have to, like, be aware of the fact that we're shooting something and, like, that you're enjoying that. Like, because I'm so happy at my job all the time. I'm so happy and, and lucky that I get to do this for a living that I don't want to take that for granted or ever be sad about it. So when you're doing those crying scenes like that, it's like, all right. Well, I, uh, I, 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 I'm still happy though. It's like one of those weird, like we like joke around. It's such a weird situation, but everybody looks like they're sobbing and it's just like, we're all puffy and red and drinking a ton of water to stay hydrated. But then we're laughing and like, we must just look insane. Like it, it literally, we must all look crazy. That's what I think yeah. because we're like joking, but like looking like we're crying. Yeah. Yeah. Last question. You have to tell me the story about, I heard Lucas taught you guys how to do a dance from High School Musical, you and Katie. Tell me about that. Okay, I would like to uh, preface with, he taught Katie. <laughs> <laughs> I filmed the whole thing. So okay. Katie's a huge High School Musical fan. Yeah. And like to the point where, I, and this is, I, I hope I'm getting this story correctly, but like she, she had like audition songs that she would listen to. And, and if she uh, got a call back for something, she would listen to, uh, the same song for the callback and like the same song for the test and all that stuff. So for the switched at birth audition, I guess it was a song that Lucas sang in High School Musical 3. So she listened to it at all the things and then she showed up to the test and like Lucas was there and she's like, oh my God, that's so weird. Like, but she like kept it together. Like she played it real cool. So yeah. like 10 episodes went by without anyone ever knowing she was a huge High School Musical fan. And then, you know, at the time where you're like friends with people and like totally like seem like a normal human being um she like kind of let it slip a little bit and then like nobody knew how in deep she was like she was such a fan when she's excited about something she is excited mm -hmm. yep she squeals um and so like she had a goal of like learning the uh all in this together dance uh and she missed one evening or was she there for that i don't know leah we were all working late and we were all delirious and at one point, Leah and Lucas just looked at each other and, like, started doing a chorus line. And, like, it was hilarious. And then Lucas, like, transitioned that into, like, teaching Leah the All in This Together dance. And Katie was so upset that she wasn't a part of it. So, like, she was slowly, like, laying down the steps to, like, get in there, right? And so it was our last day of shooting, season two? Yes, our very last day on season two. And we were in the parking lot and we were all kind of waiting around because we, like, at the end of every season, like kind of celebrate after yeah. the last take. And so uh, we're waiting in the parking lot and Lucas was doing some weird dance. And Katie's like, show me that move, show me that move. And I was like, oh, I know what she's doing. <laughs> I totally know what she's doing. And so again, she transitioned into learning the High School Musical dance. And I, I have seven videos of her learning this dance and it is That's the funniest funny. thing in the entire world to the point where like we had crew members walking by like, what is going on? on right now like it doesn't like what are you guys doing in the middle of the parking lot right now she was so excited it was hilarious
Awesome. Well, Vanessa, thank you so much for talking to us about Switched and Birth and High School Musical and everything else. It's been a pleasure. Awesome. Thank you for having me. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, click like, subscribe to our channel, and leave us a comment letting us know what your favorite episode of Switched at Birth was this season.